Hey guys, Zoe here from OneGlanceTrader.com and welcome back to the Baby Pips Forex Education video series. Now, in this video, we're going to be looking at grade two of the elementary section. So for those of you who would like to go back and look at grade one, I'll put the link in the description or you can search uh, the videos on my channel. So grade two is all about Japanese candlesticks. Now, for those of you who follow my stuff, you know that I'm very keen and do like Japanese candlesticks, where I've created a the OGT price action indicator that looks at you know kind of the top Japanese candlesticks for signals for MT4. You can download uh, that indicator absolutely free by heading over to OneGlassTrader.com or going to the link in the description. So. We'll be looking at in this particular video is what is a Japanese candlestick. Now, what this is, it really goes into the very basic and um, element of the Japanese candlestick. And Steve Nissen is effectively the kind of guru that you know brought candlestick Japanese candlesticks to the to the Western world and the video that I'm actually using to talk about Japanese candlesticks well the majority of these videos in this in this particular series is actually by uh, Steve Steve Neeson because there is no point trying to find a find a video of someone else talking about something that the creator has already got a video about on on YouTube. So, you know, majority or pretty much all the videos in this section will be covered by Steve Steve himself. So again, it goes into, you know, what are Japanese candlesticks and, um, you know, at a very, very basic level. And then as you go further down into the various sections of this um, series, you'll get into the actual type of patterns from one one bar patterns to two or three bar patterns so i really hope that um you really enjoyed the video and let's get to it spend a couple of minutes on the value of candlesticks uh they're very easy to understand i'll go over the basic construction of the candlestick line for the small percentage of you who are new to candles what's really powerful about candlesticks is the first uh, and we'll look at examples of this in some real markets to give you a reversal signal so you could jump on a new trend just as, as it's beginning or equally important, knowing when to exit, safety first, okay, knowing what trades to avoid. And as Ben mentioned in the introduction, uh, I am an expert in Western technicals. I've been using Western technicals since 1974, believe it or not. And what I find really powerful is combining Western strategies like moving averages and trend lines and so forth to eastern strategies that is candlesticks and candlesticks work in all markets as long as there's an open high low and close all time frames and it really allows you to do a very quick analysis of many markets so with this in mind i'm just going to go with the uh basic construction of the candlestick line but let me show you why candlesticks are so powerful essentially they give you twice the information as a bar chart as we'll see in a couple of minutes, candlesticks, and I just normally call them candles, like a bar chart will show us the price of any market, but what the candlesticks really shine at is, actually little plain words, I didn't realize that, candlesticks shine, uh, what they shine at is they reveal the force of the current move, and we'll look at an example of that in a minute. So let me go over the anatomy of the candlestick line. Okay, the candlestick line is made of a couple of components. There, there's a rectangular portion called the real body. And that is simply the relationship between the open and close. So if we have a white or empty real body, the close is higher than the open. And if we have a black real body, that means the close is under the open. And this could be in any time frame in any market. And depending on your charting package, Okay, instead of a white real body, it could be a green, you know, it depends what, what you have your candles uh, set on an e-signal. Uh, it could be green, and instead of black, it could be red, but the same concept. And the high is called the top of the upper shadow. It's the high of the session. And the low of the session is the, low, the bottom of the lower shadow. So essentially, you have open, high, low, and close, which is exactly what you have on a bar chart. And that's one of the aspects about candlesticks. Whatever you do, 
with a bar chart, whatever stra uh, Western technical indicator you used with a bar chart, moving averages, trend lines, oscillators, you name it, Fibonacci retracement, you could use it with a candlestick chart. But as I showed in the prior slide, candlesticks not only show the price, but they show the force of the move. And there you have it. I really hope you found that useful. I'd be very grateful if you could like, share and comment on this video and also take the time out just to subscribe to my channel. I really want to try get these educational videos out there to as many traders as possible and really show them the way that they can learn to better themselves in Forex trading and also become a more consistent and profitable trader. And I shall see you on the next video.